Hello everyone, welcome you all to PPTE Pathshala. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, let's learn this amazing animated presentation using Morph Transition. So let's be very quick in making the tube shape. For that I am using Figma.com after login to this page, just select this new design file option. Sheet like this will open, after this you need to zoom this sheet. Zoom till when these white columns are visible. You can also put any number here to zoom it. Select this pen tool and draw the shape by following the step as I am doing. After this, double-click on the shape, and choose the round shape from here. Click on the corner pointer and stretch this line. From this now we have the round corners. And this is done. Now come to stroke option and make the line end round corner. Then right line in the shape and choose the option outline stroke. Here you get this different shapes and you are done with this shape. Simply come here and export it in SVG format. Now come to PowerPoint and insert the image that you have just made. Convert it to shapes. Then insert a rectangle on the whole page. And send it to back. Then select both shapes and subtract it. Fill it with with color and give some shadow effect. Change the dimensions as you find suitable. Then insert a circle. Change its dimensions. And place it at bottom of the tube shape. Then duplicate it three more times and place appropriately. Now select all four circles and give some shadow effect, and then change the color of each circles. After this, go to Insert tab and insert any four icons of your choice. Fill it with white color. Give some shadow effect to them, and then arrange them in the circle. Now group the circle and icon by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus G. After this open draw tab and choose the pen tool. Draw the line in the tube. After this change its width and color. If you want to play it so you can go to animation tab and check this. After this send it back.
and the way draw other lines. Then add your content. Now go to Animation tab and put the animation in circle and text. Put the zoom effect in the circle. Change the alignment from the animation pane. And then put wipe animation in the text box and change its direction. Now you can use the Animation Painter to copy the animation. And here you go. Subscribe our channel for more such creative videos. Thank you everyone.